This is pre-calculus concept 7a, linear equations, and specifically we're going to be working with point slope and slope intercept form. There are four boxes. Uh, example number one, find the slope of a line containing two points, in this case negative 4, negative 1, and 6, 2. So we hope that you'll remember, way back from algebra 1, that the slope of a line containing any two points is the following formula. M, which represents slope, equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. You use this formula a lot, so we hope that, again, you remember it, but in case you don't, this would be a good time to write this down. Okay, so for our line, your y2 minus y1 represents the vertical change, and the x2 minus x1 represents your horizontal change, giving you your slope. So we've got 2 minus negative 1 divided by 6 minus negative 4, and a final slope of 3 tenths. All right, box two, we're going to find the equation of the line that we just found the slope for. So once again, our slope in this line was 3 tenths. And for this one, we want to remember our point slope form. Uh, this is going to be y minus y1 equals slope times x minus x1. And again, the formula that you've all used quite a bit um, one you should definitely remember. In the formula, m represents the slope, x1, y1 represents the point on the line, and your x and your y are related through this formula. All right, so for our line, we've got y minus, now I've got two points to pick from, I'm going to choose this one right there, so y minus 2 equals 3 tenths, our slope, x minus 6, and that's our equation of a line. Notice I have a different point, so I could have also chosen that one, and I'd have y minus negative 1 equals slope 3 tenths, and x minus negative 4. Obviously, when I have a double negative there, I can change it to a plus. So y plus 1 equals 3 tenths, um, times x plus 4 is a alternative solution. We've got either that or that as the equation of this line. All right, if I want to take the same equation, again, the slope is 3 tenths, and this time I want a uh, equation in slope-intercept form. This is yet again another formula. We hope you all remember mx plus b. Take a minute, write this down. If it's something you don't think you would remember, in this formula, m again represents slope, and b represents the y-intercept on the graph. So that's the point where the line crosses the y-axis. All right, so for this one, I'm going to do y equals 3 tenths x plus b. And um, I have two examples of x and y. I can use either one of them to figure out b. Uh, once again, I'm going to choose the point 6, 2 there. So I know that when y equals the y value in the graph, which is 2, that 3 tenths times 6 plus our unknown b, and I've got a formula now where I can solve for b. Uh, if I cross-cancel here, I'm going to get a 5 and a 3. So 2 equals 9 fifths plus b. And my value of b then is going to be 2 minus 9 fifths. That's going to be 10 fifths minus 9 fifths, and I've got a B value of 1 fifth. Matches my graph over there pretty well, and my final answer then is Y equals 3 tenths X plus 1 fifth. So when you're given a line with two points on it, you should be able to find its slope and the equation in both point-slope form and slope-intercept form. All right, box four is a U-try. Uh, given the points negative, sorry, positive one, negative seven, and negative five, two, I'd like you to find the equation of that line in slope-intercept 
form. Okay, hopefully you got a final answer of negative 3 halves x minus 11 halves. Uh, first step is to find the slope. Since I have two points on the graph, I can use my slope formula to do that. Negative 3 halves is my slope. And then um, we've got to figure out the y-intercept b. And to, to do that, I have to use one of my two points. Um, you could use either point. I chose the second point up here, negative 5, 2. And so I plugged in negative 5 for x and 2 for y, and negative 3 halves from the slope that I found, found before. And uh, final again, answer again should have been negative y equals negative 3 halves x minus 11 halves.